morning guys so it is Monday I had to think about that um excuse me for being my sports bra but I just blow dried my hair and it's very hot in here like it's like 76 in here just because little man is only in like a little t-shirt under his blanket so I want him to be warm while I was showering um but yeah I did get to shower already which is awesome and blow dry my hair now I'm just trying to figure out my situation for doing makeup because I do it on the floor over there because like my house has really bad window space and like natural lighting and stuff like that um, so I do it over there on the floor because that's where the window is and I want to look good but I'd really like to do it over here near this dresser see because this would be really good if I had like my makeup here and stuff and I mean I could use that light I guess but the lighting over here is always kind of orange I'm sure you can tell when I start it out in the morning Oh, and also here's just my five-week postpartum shot, I guess, since I'm already here. I can't wait until I can work out and just get this little pudge off. And also my belly button. My belly button is, like, still got, like, an Audi, basically, and it never did, so that is definitely new. So I just gotta get that off, but I'll probably do some workout videos once I am allowed to work out. But back to talking about makeup. I'm gonna try and figure this out. If I do, then there might be a montage of me doing my makeup. If not, the next time you see me, my face will probably just be already beat. I did not like doing my makeup over there. Lesson learned. Um, the lighting is just bad over there. I don't like it. It doesn't help that it's not a very sunny day. I'm talking to Ronan, just so you know. I'm not, like, crazy. He is currently trying to push out some poops so I can change his diaper. Come on, son. Concentrate. Push it real good. Do 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 do. Yeah, then I'm gonna feed you. <gasps> then I'm gonna feed you. But anyways, it is gloomy outside and I'm not feeling it, which is why I didn't vlog yesterday because it was also gross out and it makes me kind of grumpy. And also I watched a vlog by my friend Amy. I'll put her in the down bar. Um, she does vlogs, like mom vlogs, and she made me very sad because she was crying about um, how lucky she is to have, you know, her own children to be able to conceive and stuff, and it is so true. And then it just put me in kind of like a, a mood. Oh, are you feeling that mood too? Don't cry. So, yeah. Also, I was feeling kind of salty because pretty much the minute that I said, oh, we should go out for ice cream for dinner, um, it got cloudy. And I mean dairy-free ice cream. There's like a place around here that has really good super good ice cream and I just remembered that they have dairy free so I was like yes and then of course the weather was like no so mama is mad mama's mad but also thank you guys for the suggestions for makeup that was awesome you guys are amazing and I'm totally gonna get like two or three of the cheaper ones like the six or eight dollar ones and test them out sometime next time I'm at a drugstore or Ulta or Target <coughs> tight. Tight. and yeah and then I'll report back to you guys about which one I like but for now I'm just going to wait until I can take care of this little one you and yeah then I'm gonna watch Game of Thrones while I breastfeed yay happy feet happy feet watching some vlogs and the little guy peed and since he was sideways it leaked out of his diaper and he peed on me. Thank you! So, yeah, I need to change and then I need to change him. Well, that took forever, guys. It's like 11 now. Um, little guy is in the swing, if you can see. I don't have a front and viewfinder, which is so annoying because I never know what I'm showing you guys <laughs> or if you can see me or what angle, if I'm doing like the grossest angle, but. Yeah, he ate forever, and then every time he fell off, he would get super upset, like, he'd be sleepy. So I'd be like, oh, okay, maybe he's done eating. And I'd burp him and everything, and he'd spit up a ton, so obviously he's full. But I don't know, he just, I don't know if it's just a comfort thing, he just really wanted to be on the boob for, like, a very long time. So, I let him, and he seems to be chill right now. Just hanging out in the swing. And I put some, like, washcloths under his neck just because it's not really made for him to be so little and stuff. I mean, I don't know. He looks pretty comfortable, though.
So while he's relaxing, I'm going to leave the door open so I can hear him, and I have the audio monitor right there. Um, but I have to run downstairs and do some stuff. Okay, well, I'm upstairs again. I did eventually put him upstairs and I could hear him on the little machine kind of fussing while I pumped and I got like two ounces and I just held him for a while so he seems like, I don't want to jinx it, but it seems good. And Bronx is currently trying to break in. You can't come in because you're too noisy. So yeah. I was going to do my April favorites video today when he slept, but it doesn't look like it's a good day to do that. He's just very fussy. Um, let me know if you have any tips or tricks just for your children to get them to sleep. Bronx! Stop. Um, because, yeah, mine tend to be I sing to him and that works, or I have to press my face, like my cheek or my forehead, like gently against his face and just shh over and over again. He really likes the skin contact, which is nice, but also, I mean, means I can't really do a lot. So these vlogs are kind of like, you know, pieced together of times when I'm not holding him. But yes, I did get my mother's milk tea made, even though it's probably cold by now. Um, so I'm gonna drink that, eat some salami, since I've only eaten like pretzels today, basically. Um, yeah, I need to hydrate and fuel myself. You guys have been awesome about replying, by the way. I'm loving how many comments you guys are leaving, and I do try to respond to all of them, but, like, my YouTube doesn't always notify me. Like, I check every notification, and sometimes I'll go on the video and I'll see comments that it didn't notify me about. I don't know why. I was trying to show you guys how much he wiggles around, and of course he stops wiggling around and making noise when I'm filming him. I just finished watching OK Baby, and I really should be taking this like flash drive USB thing on my laptop to get a bunch of videos off because it's really slow. My laptop is from 2010, yeah, and my iMovie is really old and Keynote and stuff like that, so everything I own is old. My camera doesn't have a front-facing thing, it's really hard to vlog <laughs> when you don't have one or when you're just by yourself, you know what I mean? It must be so nice for Kira and Oscar and other like... YouTube couples and stuff like that, they have someone else to kind of hold the camera for them. So it's just a lot of things that I wish I had. I wish I had better lighting, I wish I had a large tripod, I wish I had um, like a really nice Canon camera with the front facing viewfinder and like a newer computer, but I have what I have and I'm grateful that I'm able to vlog. I just have to figure out like, especially doing, um, when I record anything that's like time lapsed, you know what I mean, like just montages. Those videos are obviously very long videos, and then you speed them up. So those are all on my computer, just taking up space. And I don't know, I don't know any other vloggers, so I can't ask them, you know, questions about how they keep all their files like down to size. Do they just delete all their files off their computer? Do they put them on a flash drive? Because I'm trying to keep obviously the ones of Ronan at least, because I don't want to get rid of those precious memories, even though some of them are on these vlogs that I'll be able to watch on YouTube. Um, yeah, I also don't know where people get their music, their non-copyrighted music, because obviously some of my montages have music, but it's YouTube music, so it's kind of like weird music, banjos and stuff. Um, anyways, I was going to show you guys that even though I was supposed to be uploading things on here, I wasn't. I was on Snapchat. I was using the filters. Okay, hopefully you can see me, but I'll select my face. And then I'll try to do that like weird sloth one that's new. And it always freezes, guys. Hmm? Uh -huh. See? Look at that! 
and then I can't do anything. It's really annoying, and it's only that one. It like freezes my Snapchat. I don't know why. That's super annoying. Maybe it's just Jesus telling me that I shouldn't be like playing those games. I should be being a little bit more productive probably, but yeah, I don't want to. Oh, you know, it'd be really good actually talking about like all the camera stuff that people have. Since I'm by myself and I don't have anyone else to help like videotape, it would be cool if like, have you guys ever seen the movie Never Been Kissed with Drew Barrymore? Because first of all, you should see it because Drew Barrymore is a good actress, it is cute and funny, and the main guy is very attractive. He's not even my type, but he's very attractive. Anyways, in that movie, they have like a little pin that she wears on her shirt, and it's like a video camera, and they can see everything. If I just had one of those, it would make vlogging so much easier. I would just wear a pin or something. I mean, I guess essentially that's what a GoPro is, but I just can't afford it, so. Oh well, oh well. Ugh, but yeah, um, it's very dark, and it's only like 1 o'clock. So maybe I should take a nap. Maybe I should. Just kidding, guys. I'm still on Snapchat. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I really can't be stopped. This is the Kylie Jenner one, I think. This is new. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know who comes up with them, but they're really creepy. <laughs> this is my favorite one, because I look good all the time in it. Wow. I'm like artwork. Oh, well, this is new. Yeah, I haven't seen this one yet. Interesting. Skip the sloth one since it always freezes. Oh. Have you guys ever seen there's a movie like this, but it's Star Wars and people do it with their thumbs and the faces look like this. <gasps> My sister just snapped me. Kitty Fern. This is actually I lied, this is my favorite one. I wish I looked like this in real life. That's the best one. This one is entertaining, but weird. And apparently this one is like everyone's favorite. But I kind of wish they... Uh, <laughs> I wish that they had um a cat one. Because that gets annoying. Okay, I need to get off of here, you guys. I really need to stop. He can see me. Oh no, man. I missed the opportunity. I like it when he's sleeping, and then I touch him, and he goes like, mm -hmm. he makes like a weird noise. I didn't get to do it, because he woke up. Mm. That's the spot. That's the spot. My other baby waking up? He's trying. Whoa. He's still sleeping, so I should probably take my salami downstairs. I'm like, are you guys really weird about perishables? Because I'm very strict about like the whole, if they're supposed to be in the fridge, then I, if they're out more than four hours, I will not eat them. Or I, if it's like past the expiration date, then I will not eat them. It scares me. It's like a weird phobia thing, so. Put that back. So, this little guy is still sleeping, and I have to say that I always want him to fall asleep when he's awake and fussing, and then when he does fall asleep, I miss him. And then I just want him to wake up so I can cuddle him. <laughs> and honestly, at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., when he's sleeping, I'll stare at him and I'll like 
almost start to cry because I just think he's so beautiful and perfect and I can't believe that I'm lucky enough to have him in my life and I can't believe that I made someone so amazing and pure and just he fills me up basically with love so I have to express that and I don't always like cry I, f I find that like I watch Karen and Kira OK Baby and KK Baby J and they do cry quite a bit when they get emotional and like think about their children and I am not a crier so you probably won't see me cry that much on this channel but I feel those things too and so that's why I follow them because I find it touching and relatable to see them express how I feel on the inside basically about my little man. Guess who ate so much that he gave himself the hiccups? Got a strong neck. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to nurse him again, you guys, even though he gets the hiccups because he's so full. Because you overeat so fast. Yes, I'm talking about you. And then the solution, oddly enough, is to nurse him more. So that stinks because then he's going to spit up and stuff, but these hiccups, they sound so painful. I don't like them. Are you going to let me put you in the pack and play so I can help Nana? Yes. Say hi to the tubers. Hi. Hi, Bronx. Our call has been forwarded to wow. an automatic voice message system. Wow. Someone doesn't love me. Rude. What if I was dying? I was calling to see it when you were close to being home. I didn't know if you want me to put like a pot of rice or something on for dinner. Um, I was going to make a pasta dish. Oh, okay. I just have to stop and get the stuff. Okay. Yeah, I fed him, I finished feeding him at 4.30 so he doesn't need to eat until like 6.30 anyways. Okay. Hi. All right, well I'll get home and start cooking. I love you. I love you too. See you soon. Bye. I just rubbed this eye so hard you guys like I had a fuzzy in it which happens every day I swear and it's just another reason not to wear makeup like seriously in college I used to have like winged liquid eyeliner and then I get fuzzies in my eye or I get eyelashes in my eye which is like aren't they the point of keeping things out of your eye so annoying but yeah it kills me they're like I don't even know what kind of fuzzies they are to be honest Stir in the cashew cream, nutritional yeast, basil, tomato paste, oregano, salt, and pepper, and cook for 5 to 10 minutes. One teaspoon. A teaspoon. Oregano. Hey, so it is that time of night. And actually, forgive me if I'm very low energy for the question of the day. But um, me and my mom, after we got the dinner made, we started watching How to Get Away with Murder, and I just put Ronan on the boob, started eating, watching TV, and he ate the entire episode. And then he did what he did earlier today, which is just every time he fell off, he cried and cried and cried. And it didn't matter if I gave him the pacifier or if I burped him, nothing was consoling him except for the boobs. So we ended up watching it until 7. And then I was like, okay, I guess I'll feed him for like another half an hour and see if maybe I can try again. Did that, didn't work, so I fed him for another hour and it was 8.30. Finally got him off and sleeping, so 
I didn't get to pump enough today because he was doing that, so I don't have food for my mom to give him, which means I might get like an hour of sleep, maybe two, and then she's going to bring him back to me because he'll be hungry again, and she won't have anything to give him. So, not going to be a good nap tonight, but that's okay. Question of the day is by Alexis White, and she asked a few. First, she asked, what did I go to college for? And I went to college for English. I went for four years, got my bachelor's degree in English. My minor is in women's studies, which is really interesting. And I almost got it in Native American studies because I also had like so many credits that I could have technically had two minors, but I don't think that's a thing. So yeah, I really liked college, by the way. I thought it was really interesting. I like reading. I like watching interesting documentaries and movies. I like writing, so it was just kind of my jam, other than the fact that standardized testing kind of stuff, I can't memorize things very well, so like ge geology, that kind of stuff, not my jam. The second question was, oh, well, when I'm, how long am I going to live with my parents? I'm just living with my parents because of financial reasons. I mean, I lived in my own place for a while, and the rent was like $600 without utilities, um, I had to pay for groceries, obviously, I had to pay my student loans and all that, and then when I was pregnant, I was like, well, I should move back because I need to be responsible for this little human being, save up some money, so I've been doing that, um, I got a job here, started saving up money, obviously I'm not working right now because I had to give birth and stuff, and now I'm like taking care of Ronan, so I will start working weekends and nights when he's like three months old probably, saving up that money. Hopefully I will get child support, save up some of that money, and then we'll be able to move out. <laughs> so I'm hoping in under a year, but I have no clue. I mean, I'm just going to do whatever is best for my son, and that's the bottom line. So, um, The third question is when I do move out, am I going to stay in Maine? And I have no clue. It's it's a while away. I mean, I would like to because my mom will probably be very sad when I take Ronan away. So, and I do like Maine. And my insurance is here, so I don't know like if that would change things. And my car is registered here, even though it's like broken right now, which I don't even want to talk about. Um, but yeah, my sister has offered for me to live with her, and she lives in New Hampshire, which isn't that far away. So. There are different options. I do not know what life will have in store for me, but right now it has sleep in store for me, so I'm very happy. And yeah, I don't know if today's vlog was long or short or what, because I haven't edited it and I have no clue how many videos I even took. I'm like deliriously sleepy, so apologies if it wasn't up to par, but I will see you guys next time and make sure to like and subscribe and comment and all that, but good night guys. Bye!